uh, not huge madness fans i've been in london since last well i set off on me on thursday um took the b75 one with the kojak tires fantastic performing bike very low geared it's got the uh 44 39 double on the front 15 on the back um performed excellently the b75 it's got the kuzak mid-rise bars the later version of the brake levers and the brompton lock on grips but that isn't what the video is about today um i use a tea bag which was brilliant and i'm going to talk about three four pieces of kit that were total rubbish on the trip so we'll start with the aldi light stroke camera which i bought just before the trip we'll look at it <coughs> that's where it's pointing moves about every time you go through a bloody bump it bleeps and i don't know i've not looked at the sd card yet or the, the memory card yet to see what's on it um i assume the camera's going to do the job the light does its job but the execution in its mounting system is utter total crap so that's going to go back to to Audi regardless of what the video quality is like the second thing that performed abysmally or what was an absolute piece of rubbish is the monkey cage for the water bottle absolute Pointless crap. Um, you put the bottle in securely so it holds it in place, and you can't get it out. You struggle to get it out. You struggle to get it in. So you've got to fuff about under in the bloody strap, pissing about with that. Um, when it's folded, when it's folded. All the sticks out the side, caught it getting off the train, off it went. Absolute load of crap. So that's coming off. Um, I've got this on here. I've, this is this isn't new. So it's only a couple of years older. So it's a Volt Cati Volt XC XC light thing look can't stay in you can't stay in one place it's absolute got this rubberized mounting system utter garbage pointless shit i'm afraid the next thing that's failed abysmally is going to break my heart to have to report this back to you because it's my port leave waterproof whatever it is classic handlebar bag and i took this down to use it as a as a shoulder bag when i got the tea bag on the on the bike and <clears throat> to use it on the handlebars you've seen the handlebar mounting video when i'm just traveling around london not wanting a deal of stuff on it what's failed continually continually failed is the strap look it's as secure as anything but it undoes itself and the bag drops off your shoulder time and time again putney, putney railway station Yesterday, not only did the strap come unhooked and drop off, but it 
both, both hooks came off. And it, it didn't happen once. It happened, I was getting off the train at, water, at Waterloo. Strap came off. Bag setting down between the train and the platform. Bloody water bottle. Pops out of there, and that's rolling off towards the other platform edge. <clears throat> so, this, I love the bag, but this strap, this strap system is, uh, is useless. But I'm trying to do it one handed. It clicks into place. Lovely. But when, when it's in, 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 in execution, it's shit. And I think that's what happens. If you see, if you see that, it's, it's, a, it's like that. And you have any shoulder. If, if the bag moves about or something, it, it pops off like that. And I think it's due to this, the shape of this plastic here. But it's, it's what a crap. You are in wrong. Bags on the road. Stop. Pick it up. Fortunately, nothing ran over it. And I've, you know, I've got my bloody phone and my gear in here. My bit, bits that matter. So <clears throat> I'm going to do something about that. Um, I shall write and tell Oatley. Absolutely wonder, absolutely wonder at their cycle stuff. Um, but this is shit. I think all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is cut this, cut that heel off, cut that tab off, flash, flush, flash, flush. So when it pops on, when it rotates, I mean, this is that's probably the way it's supposed to be taken off, I don't know. When it rotates, it doesn't pop off, but it's useless. Useless, absolutely useless. Useless. Encumbrance, pointless, waste of time. Most of the time, I've got the tea bag on. The tea bag's got a pop it, pocket on it. You just slip, slip the water bottle, slip it out. You want a drink, you want to stop. Stop it, lights. Water bottle out, pop the top. Have a drink, slip it back in. No. Get out of Velcro. Velcro's got too tight. The water bottle dropped off at some point in this point. So your velcro got to go past that, under the velcro, get a bottle out, all of that together, all whilst you're just trying to get some of the water. So the monkey cage is a pointless load of crap. The cat eye vault light with this here rubber mountain is a load of crap. Shame because it's such a lovely light bright light I've said that's a load of crap it's a load of crap anyway I'm gonna I'll put the, put the card on the on the laptop and see what goes and uh, like I say it pains me to say that's a load of crap and it's okay but there's 200 quid 200 quid's worth of stuff there you know 200 notes of my hard earned money shit Um, it's no anyway, that's my long term review of <laughs> the Audi light rear facing camera, the uh, Cat Eye Volt 100 XC rechargeable bike light. It's a fantastic light, it's just it's useless because it doesn't stay where it should stay, and the Monkey Cage bracket water bottle holder that is uh more trouble than it's worth so guys that's my video this is this double people have seen this double and talked about it that is brilliant it's so i mean the bike's so low geared it's not it's not a racing bike by any stretch of the imagination but it's um I mean, the tea bag was as heavy as the bike, and uh, the gearing for me. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting on in years. I'm not a cyclist. I just ride a bloody bike, to, you know, to do stuff. Um, that's transformed it. So that's a good little thing, and it's only about 
28 quid for the crank set and another 18 quid for the 39 tooth chain ring. But, uh, the point of my video was to, to tell you about the um, the tat I put with me, which wasn't necessary. The other thing is, <clears throat> according to Brompton Junction and Covent Garden on Saturday, talking to the guys in there, and what they were telling me is, on I went in to have a feel, had went in to have a grope at the T line. They lined up T line, the P line, and the A line, and picked them up one at a time and felt the weight. The T line is amazing; it is amazingly light. It really is amazingly light. The P line is a little bit heavier. And then the A-line is a lot heavier, and it felt heavier. So, I did ask in there about the um, about the availability of the P-line, and what they told me was that Brompton released a list to them on Monday of what their stock is going to be for the week. And if you phone the shop on Monday and you ask what's available and if what you want is available and nobody's got the name on it you can put your name on it and reserve it and then you're expected to pop down to the shop within the next few days pay for it and sort it out if you phone up on monday and the p lines whatever p lines which is what i got are, are available um, if they've all gone if somebody bails out they will phone you that week to say they've got got one become available so that was that was the time on Saturday, got nothing on Saturday. So I went in yesterday, which is Bank Holiday Monday, and um, spoke to a young lady and asked about the P line and she says yes, we've got two available today. There was a P line with the rack in grey and the P line in the sparkle black. Sparking black is it? Without the rack. Um so I had that. It's uh, obviously it's a whisker lighter than the grey one because of, because of the rack. I was I'm buying it for travel, for lightness. So I won't, I won't be bolting any bits on it. Um, when I bought it, so I've got one. We are looking. Phone shop on Monday. If the list has been published, and there's no set time for when Brom Brompton publish the list, but if the list has been published, if what you want is on the list. It's yours. You've got to then go down and get it that week. And if you don't, hence I think that's why they've got two on the shelf yesterday because because people have obviously put the name on them and not turned up for them. Whilst I was paying for that, another guy was had, had put his hand on the grey one with the rack, and he was he was buying that, and. Whilst we're going through that transaction and, and paying, see more people in the shop had asked if they can have a pee line. So, so I'm a lucky chappy. I go back down, I've got the train down again on Thursday to go and pick it up. And um, I'll do a video. It's from the standard seat post, standard length seat post, because the guy in the shop on Saturday said if he has an extended one, they will swap it out for a shorter one and he said maybe he would swap out the 44 no swap out to a 44 chain room I did ask about that in the shop because I'd rather it came with it so I've always got it with it and I've ordered a 44 to go on it it must come with a 50 I, I don't know it comes with a bigger chain room I don't know what it comes with bigger than bigger than what I, I want so that's Thursday so that's gonna be another video I shall do a live not live because I can't do live stuff on here I don't think so because you haven't subscribed I need more subscribers before I can do live stuff so I should go down to Brompton on Covent Garden on Thursday morning pick the bike up and I'll the plan is I'm going to do a video from the shop on it ride it and tell you about it if I get a train home so that's all I can tell you that's my little reviews on the 200 notes worth of stuff that I bought, which is, isn't what it should be. 
and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. And please give me a thumbs up, please, please, and please subscribe to my channel if you watch this video. I know I've got some videos that have been watched by loads of people. If you could subscribe, I'm not pleading with you anything. If you could, su could subscribe, um, I'll, uh, I'll appreciate it. If ever get monetized, monetized, whatever they call it, I won't keep the money. If ever get monetized, the money will go to charity, and it will be a cycling based, cycling based charity, or I don't know. <clears throat> when I get, if ever I get monetized on YouTube, the money's gonna, or any money that comes in is gonna go to charity, and. We have discussed it. I discussed that with you when the time comes, and between us, we'll sort out a worthy charity, a UK, UK based charity. Perhaps I don't know, or maybe more than one charity. I don't know, but certainly, I've, I've, I'm no interest in making money out of YouTube for myself. Uh, if, 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 ever, if ever it happens, any money will be then, of course. So, thank you for watching. So, please. Help me out, subscribe, and uh, happy Brompton hearing. One little point now I've got my P line coming, I will have two or three Bromptons for sale because I foresee, I foresee, I foresee the P line being my travel bike to take when I use it for public transport, and there'll be a lot of that. And, uh, so I will have some Bromptons becoming available, which ones I don't know yet, early days. Anyway, thank you for watching, thank you for the thumbs up, and thank you for hitting the subscribe button that you are just about to hit. So thank you guys.